morning. So, oh, this filters now, isn't there? Oh no, that's not, that's not the filter I want. Um. So the reason I'm here is I've just woken up, and normally when I wake up, I do not turn my phone on. I normally do a 10-minute meditation. I know that Katya has been doing the Jasmine Masters 3-Minute Meditation Challenge. So I wanted to see her 3-Minute Meditation Challenge and raise her a 10-minute Katya Zamalochkova Meditation Challenge. So, here's what I do. Um, wait, I'm going to put this like that. I, before I turn my phone on, I wake up in the morning and I stack up a couple of pillows, like so, so that my bum is raised up, and then I sit on the pillows, and then I put a pillow under one leg. Oh, wait, let me see if I can join with Katia, hang on. I think go live with, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it. Choose someone to be, how is everybody this morning? It won't let me bring up Katia. She probably doesn't, she's probably blocked me. Fine. All right, back to this. So this is how I meditate. Excuse my morning hair. And so yeah. I put like, got, I sit and cross like it. Never meditate laying down because you just fall asleep. Um, then I get another pillow under this leg here. And I cross my legs. So it kind of looks like, oh, oh, oh kind of like that. So my bum's raised, my knees are supported here, and I sit like this my hands on my knees I just sit with my my back up not like this but not like this just kind of like straight like you pretend that there's a string this is what my mum used to tell me pretend there's a string running up the center of your spine up your neck and out the top of your head so your back is just straight it's like relaxed but it's not like slouched then the whole point of meditation is that our brains think a lot. Should I turn on lights? Do I need lights? Should I do it this way? Is this better? Do I need lights? Oh! I didn't do that. That was the sun. The sun just came out. And the sun just went away. I'm just going to do it like this. So... The whole point of meditation is that our brains think a lot, right? And thinking is never happening in the present moment. It only ever happens in the past or the future. Does that make sense? Because if you're thinking, you're not thinking about right now. You're thinking about something that happened before or you're thinking about something that's going to happen. So the whole point of meditation is to bring your mind into the present moment and out of those thinking thoughts that... that incessant thinking mind that's really out of control it's just thinking about everything they call it the the, the monkey mind because it's like a monkey swinging from the trees just like grabbing onto any thought that comes into your brain um so meditation focuses your mind in the present moment and the more that you do that the more you uh get out of that monkey mind habit pattern and into the present moment when you're in the present moment you're just being rather than thinking that's a little confusing probably but let's see how it goes so the style of meditation that i do is called vipassana um it's not it's non-denominational it's not religious or anything like that um and it is from the teachings of buddha but it is not Buddhism, because the Buddha actually was, from what I can understand, he he was secular, he was an atheist, he didn't believe in 
um, all of that sort of stuff. He said that they shouldn't... You know all those, like, Buddha statues and things? He he was against all of that. He said that you shouldn't... He said he wasn't a god. He said that he wasn't any of these sorts of things. That he was just some dude who, like, learned how to meditate and understood sort of the ways of the world. So, um, yeah, I've been to these Vipassana meditation retreats. Um, they have them in places all around the world. It's a 10-day silent meditation retreat where you meditate for 11 hours a day it's pretty intense oh by the way can you hear me because i know that when i put my phone like this sometimes people can't hear me i'm gonna wait to see if you can hear me are you the 10th queen i don't know what ten the 10th queen is oh that's in reference to um that tv show why is my brain not working all stars season three no i'm not the 10th queen Oh, no, it's in reference... Is it in reference to... Anyway, I'm meditating. So, this style of meditation starts off with something called Anapana breathing, which basically just means that you're breathing in and out through your nose. But when you're breathing in and out through your nose, you want to be aware of the sensation of your breath going out and going in. You specifically want to be aware of it just around your nose and your top lip. So, it's all about, the reason this style of meditation I really like is because you're not focusing on a mantra like in Transcendental Meditation, you're not focusing on like an idol or a, anything religious or anything, anything. All you're focusing on is your own human body. So, you you start off by focusing on your breath coming in, it's with the light keeps changing colour because the sun and the clouds and things keep changing outside the room. (laughs) So... Sitting here in my meditation position, feeling comfy. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to breathe in and out through my nose. I'm going to breathe in through my nose. If you're, you're welcome to try this with me. Um, obviously, if you're driving a car, probably don't because that would be dangerous. Um, so you close your eyes, you breathe in through your nose. And you feel the breath coming into your body. You want to feel the sensation of the breath around your nostrils. You want to be aware of the temperature. Is it warmer or cooler? Is it coming through one nostril or two nostrils? Is it easy to breathe in? Are your nostrils clogged? You're basically just trying to observe your reality as it is. So you're not trying to feel anything in particular. All you're trying to do is feel exactly what is there. And that's the whole point of this particular style of meditation. Um, You're trying to observe your reality as it is, not as you want it to be, because our suffering and our anguish comes from wishing things were different, wishing things were some other way than the way that they actually are, if that makes sense. So you close your eyes, take a breath in, And then out through the nose. When you're breathing out through the nose, be aware of the air like rushing out your nose. Maybe it feels warmer around your nostrils. Maybe you can feel it just on your top lip here. You can feel the air coming out. But you really just want to focus on this little triangle area here, like your top lip and your nostrils, like the air around your nose and your nostrils. So basically, If you're doing the Jasmine Masters 3-Minute Meditation Challenge, um, a suggestion on how to do that, which for me, you can do it however you want, um, is to try Anapana breathing. I would set a timer on my phone, sit up in a a position, three minutes, like, you're not going to get, you probably don't need to support your knees and stuff, because they won't get sore. But if you're doing, like, a long time, you probably do. Um, But yeah, the 3-Minute Jasmine Masters Meditation Challenge, I wonder, can I write it on the screen, like, in a... No, no, you can't. Um, sit up, 
set a timer, turn your phone on airplane mode, make sure you're somewhere quiet. I mean, I can hear the noise. My windows are open right now. Uh, and close your eyes and breathe in and out through your nose for three minutes, just trying to focus your attention on your breathing, on the air coming in and out of your mouth, because that's actually happening in the present moment. It's not happening in before or after. What will happen, though, is your mind will rush off and you'll find yourself thinking about something you have to do today or something that your friend said or whatever. And as soon as you realize that you're thinking about something, just bring your attention back to your breathing. It's, it's challenging to do because you'll probably barely get through one breath without your mind rushing off and thinking about something. Um, I see somebody said, I have three siblings, there's never quiet. Well, you could try going to the bathroom and sitting on the toilet for three minutes. You don't have to put the seat, the lid up. You can just sit on the toilet or you can if you want especially if you have to shit, in which case I would recommend putting the lid up because shooting with the lid down can get messy. One of my friends did that once and it was not pretty, um, but I digress. So, um, yeah, give it a go. Do the Jasmine Mouse's three minute meditation challenge. Um, I'm gonna do it now. And the whole point of this is that you're bringing your consciousness into the present moment and you're starting to train your mind. Like you go to the gym and you do weights and you build muscles, your brain, um, you know, it's it's an amazing thing, but it's from watching like three minute, two minute, one minute YouTube videos and clips on Facebook, our brains are just used to jumping all around and they don't know how to focus anymore. Um, and so this is a way of training your brain to focus. It's like going to the gym for your brain. So breathing in and out, your mind will rush off. It'll start thinking about other things. And as soon as you become aware that you're thinking about something, just go, oh, I'm thinking about something else. That's okay, right now um, I'm meditating. So I'm gonna bring my attention back to the breathing, back to the sensation of my breath coming in and out of my nose. In and out. They don't have to be deep breaths. They don't have to be shallow breaths. They should just be the exact breaths that happen to be coming in and out of your nose at this particular time in history. So you're not trying to create anything. You're not trying to create an artificial circumstance. You're not trying to like breathe. If you want, you can be a little bit deliberate in your breathing in the beginning to try and you know, become aware. But the whole purpose of this is to observe your reality as it is, not as you want it to be. So it's just to observe exactly how it's happening. And if you're doing that, you're meditating. And if your brain's rushing off, you're still meditating when you bring it back and you bring your focus back to your breathing. So that is my little guide, uh, my Jasmine Master's three minute meditation challenge, um, as patented by Katia Zamalachikova. Um, and yeah, do you have any questions? Now I can read the screen. Why is it so dark? I put a light on. Oh, I don't know. I love you, Courtney. Please come to Mexico. I love Mexico. Does anybody have any specifically meditation questions? Are you vegan? Yes, I am vegan. Victoria, Julia. I have to close one eye when I read the screen because I have a lazy eye. Like, normally I don't, but Vanity tells me that when I'm on Skype or um, like FaceTime, when I start reading something, my eye wanders off, as you can see right now. So whenever I read, I'm like, oh. How do you stop falling asleep while you're meditating? That's a great question. Um, you sit up, you don't lie down. If you lie down, you fall asleep instantly. But if you sit up, like, with, like there's not, there's, there's, there's a gap between my back and the wall. So the best way is to just sit up, like I said in the beginning, um, relaxed and, um, but in like a, in a, in an upright sort of position and you won't fall asleep. Because if you fall asleep, you'll go like this. <laughs> Which, let me tell you, when I was doing my Vipassana meditation retreat, there was a lot of that. There was a lot of like, <laughs> oh, cool. right, meditating, right? <laughs> oh, God, meditating. But, you know, that's why I do it when I first woken up in the morning. I literally, I wake up before I do anything. I don't turn on my phone. I don't pick up my phone. I think, I don't know about you guys, but the first thing that I used to do in the morning was wake up, roll over, pick up my phone, and open it. Now... When I go to bed, I put my phone on airplane mode 
I don't even want to have the temptation or anything or all of those, I don't even know how a phone works, telephone waves flying around my head. Um, so I just put my phone on airplane mode, I go to sleep, I set my alarm, and when I wake up in the morning, I put my pillows in my meditation position, and I meditate. Um, like right now, I've been away and I've been traveling and I've been out of sync, so I'm just doing like 10 minutes each morning, but then like tomorrow I'll probably do 15 minutes and the day after I'll do 20 minutes, and then realistically I never get up to an hour, like that's, that's like, I, I could tell you that I meditate for an hour every day, but I certainly do not like 20 minutes like sometimes I'm like I cannot fucking do this for 40 minutes I can I can do 10 I can do 5 and um and that's better than doing nothing it's just about creating a habit and and doing it what are the health benefits of meditating the health benefits of meditating are many um I'm sure there's many scientific articles that have been written but I know that personally the health benefits for me are a clarity of mind and focus and the ability to uh, be more in control of my my thoughts and emotions and my feelings because meditation what it does is in the brain um, your brain uh, when your when your eyes or your senses any of your um, senses senses something that sensation whether it be in your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears, or on your skin, your touch, uh, that goes to the brain and it's cognized. And then from that sensation being cognized, as in like feeling the sensation, your brain then recognizes what that sensation is based on past sensations. So if something's bright, you're like, oh, that's bright light. I know what bright light is. I'm going to close my eyes, sort of thing. Um, but the whole point of meditating is that you're creating a level of, uh, you're, you're putting a gap in between cognition and recognition and you want to just observe things rather than reacting to them automatically. Because in our lives, lots of things happen to us, especially when we're younger, um, that we, we have learned behaviors and we react to things we cling to things we push things away we have different cravings and diversions um, created from experiences in our life and those happen at different times for different reasons but as we grow up we don't often unpack the reasons why those happen and we still react to things based off one um, I don't know who invented time I still haven't got to the bottom of that one I'm sorry um, <laughs> Yeah, we react to things based off our past conditionings, which may not always be accurate, may not always serve us in our everyday life. And uh, so meditation just tries to insert itself in between cognition and recognition or reacting to a stimulus in our environment. Now, that could be like something our, one of our parents said to us or something somebody did to us. It's all the same, whether it's like a sensation on our body from like physical heat or whether it is something happening mentally in our brain as a reaction to something that somebody or something did so um, we're still reacting to our environment based on what happened to us when we were kids and so meditation observing the sensations that happen eventually on our whole bodies is um, actually learning to observe our um, our feelings and our emotions and our bodies and to become more aware of them and rather than just reacting it puts a little gap of time in between where we can say oh look I'm feeling angry now and I can feel that you know I can feel a, a warmness in my stomach or a tightness in my chest or something wherever it, wherever it may be on your body um, and you can observe that and you can say oh wow I'm feeling angry about the situation and you can observe the physical sensation on your body and um, and and that often helps to dissipate it rather than it becoming you and you reacting based off those old habit patterns you're now in control and you're like oh I feel angry that's okay I'm going to observe that feeling and allow that anger to sort of pass through me rather than bottling it up pretending it doesn't exist or um, or just unleashing it unnecessarily um, the whole point of meditation is to help you become more aware and more in the present moment rather than in the thinking mind, thinking about the past or the future. I see there's lots of questions about veganism here. 
Um, is that the All Stars 3 background? No, this is just my bedroom wall, kids. I stayed up late one night sticking these little decals on it that I ordered off Etsy. Um, I am a vegan because I think it's better for me, better for the environment, and better for the animals. I went vegetarian about five years ago um, and it wasn't that hard at all. Being vegetarian is really easy, you guys. There's every restaurant, like even in the mid of the Midwest, you can eat vegetarian food that is decent. Like if you go to a regular restaurant and you try and eat vegan, you end up eating some shitty meal that is like a salad or like the mash and peas without the gravy and the meat and it's just shit. So find a vegetarian or vegan restaurant in your city. They're not always cheap, which is the issue I realize. But being vegan doesn't have to be expensive at all. You can get all of the vegetables and and nuts and legumes and delicious things from like anywhere for super cheap. Um, it's just knowing how to put them together, which is challenging. Um, you can't just stop eating meat and start eating like bread and carbs and pasta. That's not being, I mean, that is being vegan, but it's not being good for your body. So you do have to have a level of awareness about your diet and um, about, you know, how to feed yourself. But if you are eating a whole food, as in the it's just food, like real food, not processed packaged food, a whole foods plant-based diet, and it's, you know, varied, you're not just eating one thing, you can't help but get enough protein and get enough vitamins. That's the way that the planet is set up. If you eat food, you will get enough protein. It's a big misconception that like, how do you get protein? Um, you know, you want to eat, like I said, you can't just eat lettuce leaves and think you're getting enough protein. You have to eat you know, a wide variety of food, but you don't have to put as much emphasis on eating protein. You don't have to like slam down tofu all day long to get enough protein, unless you're a bodybuilder, in, in which case you want to probably take like a vegan protein supplement or something like that. Um, but have I ever seen What the Health? You know, I haven't seen What the Health. I should watch it. Um, I'm vegan and don't eat honey. Do you eat honey? Do you know what? I do eat honey. I know there's a whole bunch of different rules to being vegan, that you eat no animal products, that you wear no animal products. Um, I'm not like staunch, I don't like go out of my way to eat honey, but I do eat honey, I'm not that, um, yeah. Oh my god, you're on my TV right now, that's funny. Is it MTV Single AF? Have you guys been watching MTV Single AF? It's the opposite to meditation. Um, it, it, it's reality television. Reality television could very well be the uh, antithesis of meditation but it's still fun to watch. Um, so that is meditation helps with stress. Meditation helps with everything. When I meditate every single day, I feel like I'm more in control of my life and my feelings and just like my brain. Like I feel like life can sometimes be a constant struggle with my brain, getting it to do, getting my body and my brain and whatever else is inside me to do what I need to do and what I want to do can sometimes be a real struggle. And when I meditate regularly, I just notice that life is a little bit easier and a little bit better, just incrementally. I'll just be like, oh, I should do the dishes. And then all of a sudden I'm doing the dishes rather than complaining about not wanting to do the dishes. That is really the power of meditation for me. It's the ability to do the dishes um, and to do other life tasks that you don't want to do um, normally. And when I meditate, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm doing that thing that I didn't want to do. And here I am doing it and I'm kind of enjoying it. It's not nearly that bad. Really, the thing that was bad was me thinking about the fact that I didn't want to do it rather than actually getting along with it and doing it. So, yeah. Um, if you guys uh, liked that, I've been thinking about doing a meditation series on YouTube, but I've never got around to it. And then I saw that Kati was doing her Jasmine Masters three minute meditation challenge. So I thought I'd take her up on the offer and give you a little bit more insight into um, how to meditate. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you're in North America, I'm gonna be coming to a whole bunch of cities with my holiday tour, Lump of Coal. Uh, starting on the 26th, 26th of November in Los Angeles. I'm going to San Diego, LA, San Francisco, New Orleans, Minneapolis, Toronto, Montreal, New York City. 